He loves mimosas, Robbo. He'll Let's bring in uh, the boss and his deputy. Here we go. Andrew, come over, pal. How are you doing? Exceed expectations? <laughs> Actually, yes. Are we all fair? No, no, we're yeah, on. We're, we're on. on. We're on. We're live. <laughs> yeah. Pretty incredible. Oh, amazing. Um, you know, the with, with this, so many months in the planning and then to see it being brought to life, yeah, I think the players had a great time, but most importantly, the fans had a great time. So when did you start dreaming of taking the game global and coming to one of the most iconic cities in the world? So actually, the truth is, during COVID, um, Peter and I were talking about how we got back on the field, and obviously we were focused on getting back on the field, but Peter's vision was for growth. Coming out of COVID and thinking about how we can make the game stronger, more sustainable, and take it to new markets. And, uh, you know, we thought the West Coast of America would be a great place to showcase the game. And the rest has obviously brought us to this point today. Was it always Vegas? Always going uh, to be no, Vegas? it wasn't always Vegas. We, we originally looking at Los Angeles and we spoke to a senior executive at Fox, uh, Fox America, and he said, you'll get lost in Los Angeles. Don't do that because you, it'll be a failure. So it made us go back to the drawing board and then um, we looked at a few venues and Andrew said three venues and Vegas was in the middle of it. And I said, that's it, it's Vegas. Uh, the lights came up. The buttons went thing, the jackpots, everything. That was that's what, that's where we were going. And um, I gave Andrew a few heart attacks along the way because I said we're going to do a double header. He said, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yes, double header." I would have had a triple header if it wasn't, you know. Uh, but maybe next year. Yeah, Peter, you've done un unbelievable things with New South Wales racing. But how satisfied are you with the job you've been doing with the rugby league? Oh, look, you, you've got to have a good team behind you and. I've got one of the best CEOs in the game and, and you know, a lot of this is due to Andrew and his team's efforts. They've just done a magnificent job. Um, I harassed the Christ out of them, so I don't know how they put up with me. But, uh, but the result is um, you, you've seen it for yourself and it, uh, Andrew goes on uh, stress leave every, every week with me, so it's, it, it, that's how hard a job it is. We've, we've, we've like heard rumours that we're going to come back <laughs> for five years. Is that the plan? Are we going to keep on coming back or we don't? quite know yet? No, we know. We're coming back. This, this is just the foundation. It's like building a house. You've now done the foundation. We've sent a benchmark. We've got to improve from here next year. But the results have got to be coming through with American viewers. So we'll be interested to see how we went on Fox 1 tonight, how many viewers we got. Um, we need to see how many subscriptions we sell to you know, watch NRL. But it's not going to happen in the, in the 12 months. It's going to take three or four years. But I am now more confident than ever that we can make tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars for the game that will go back into Grassroots and the uh, Hindy and um, Fletch show. <laughs> <laughs> what about next year? There'll be, there'll be teams sitting back at home now just going, I want to be part of it. How do we get the four teams, or, or six teams, your son is a triple header? How do they put an application through? Yeah. How does it all work? Four. Is it a ballot? Can we get some more Westie yeah. teams? No, they're called brown paper bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just please explain yourself on that. <laughs> if you know about brown paper bags more than anyone. <laughs> hey, you're our guest. No, Peter. They only get those brown paper bags to the good and players. Not, and there's not sandwiches in them either. Uh, sorry, Andrew, what was so your So there's four teams. There's a set of criteria. Uh, so obviously we love working with the clubs too. I mean, this is a great opportunity for them as well. The players love the opportunity to... I mean, they've had a pre-season camp for 10 days. They've met with some of the other professional sports teams over here. It's great for them as well. Um, the clubs are all interested. We'll run a process. We'll ask them to help us grow the game. And this is the start, right? 40,000 today. We want 50,000 next year. And as Peter said, it's about how many fans we can win between now and then. Pete, you're as popular with the fans as the yeah. players are. That must have... I mean, at Fremont Street, <laughs> that was incredible. And the reception you got there. I it must be humbling. It cost me a lot of money. I paid 50 bucks each for them to do all that, you know. So, but look, it, it, the, the success comes with having opposites um, between me and Andrew. And I want you blacks to tell us which one's which. One is smart, sophisticated, classy, and one's a complete nut job. One um, as well. And, and bad. So we'll just, you can pick who it is. <laughs> So, Peter, you see the Vegas oh, baby. Yeah, look, look, hey, have a look at the pirate in the middle. Have a look who's taking over Vegas. You can wear that. That could be your night shirt. You can wear that to bed. Why have I only got one eye? <laughs> hey, Pete, I don't know. Why do you only have one we eye? We saw you at the White House with Joe Biden. Biden. <laughs> the, uh, the White House with Joe Biden. What, what, was, what were the uh, discussions there? Oh, I made that top secret. I can't tell you that because he told me the codes for the nuclear weapons, so I can't, uh, can't involve those. <laughs> now, look, he was a very, very nice uh, host. 
Um, we had a good discussion about the Pacific and Papua New Guinea. The, the USA are very keen on the soft diplomacy with Papua New Guinea. Uh, and so the USA is right behind what our Prime Minister is doing. No, amazing, amazing. It's been an incredible week. It's fantastic. You guys enjoyed the week? It's been, oh, uh, it's been an awesome week. <laughs> yeah. I was getting a bit nervous when we were on the plane coming over here. Uh, everyone yeah, was very excited. Was yeah. 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 Andrew, just <laughs> settle down. Our wives are just over there, OK? <laughs> I apologise for the minister too. <laughs> we brought the wives here to make you behave. See, that, 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 that was the secret weapon. Fellas, uh, mate, we'll let you go. I mean, some people had doubts about this whole thing. They, they've been erased and... I think 25,000 Australians come across to this. I reckon we'll get 50 next year. It's been amazing. Congratulations. Uh, look, we ran into every single Australian that was here, believe me, out in the, out in the strip. Yeah. Thanks, fellas. Well done, boys. Thank you very Thank you. much. It's been Thank awesome. There you go. Andrew Abdo and Peter Volandis. Done an amazing job. Well done, boys. Hey, dinner. Boys. There's, mate, there's not too many officials ever that get cheered from fans. Ever. Uh, they always get booed because it's a sport. The boom, isn't it? A politician or your leader? Oh, we should have asked him when he run for Prime Minister. Well, mate, that's what you said you were going to ask him. Right, hey, hey, Peter. Are you chance of running for Prime Minister? Yeah, thumbs yes, up. Yes, thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. <laughs>